Hello, this is Vic. Welcome to my channel and thank you for viewing my videos. Today I'm in the beautiful island of Saipan here in the northern Mariana Islands. And I've got something very historic and very sad to show you. We're going to examine the suicides that took place in 1944, in July of 1944, here in Saipan at Banzai Cliff. It is a very well-known fact that over 8,000 Japanese citizens jumped to their deaths over the cliff. But what happened? What were the circumstances actually that caused this? Let's examine the historical facts first and then we're going to go for a full tour of the site. Saipan and the rest of the northern Mariana Islands were given to Japan at the conclusion of the First World War. And Japan administered those islands until they were passed to the U.S. in July of 1944, as I will explain to you. Now, during the time period between 1918 and 1944, Japan put a lot of time and effort and money to improve the conditions of the islands, and especially Saipan. They built roads, hospitals, and even a train that would go around the whole island. Now, on December 7th, 1941, as you know, Japan attacked the U.S. fleet in Pearl Harbor. And since December of 1941, there was a state of war between the two countries. After the attack in uh, Pearl Harbor, there were quite a few setbacks from a military perspective for the Americans in the Pacific. The Philippines, the loss of the Philippines and the loss of Guam on December 8th of 1941, are a couple of good examples. However, after the huge victory in Midway in 1942, the tide of war was turning towards the favor of the Americans. By 1944, the Americans were ready to assault some of the islands, and the first one to do so was here in Saipan, which they assaulted via several amphibious assaults on June 15th, 1944. Now let's examine what was happening here in June of 1944 because conditions have been improved dramatically here in Saipan. A lot of Japanese, Koreans and Carolinians had moved to the island. At the same time, because the Japanese were expecting that the Americans would invade at some point in time during the war, they had militarized the island and they had moved huge parts of the army with their families, the Japanese families here on the island. As a result, by the time the Americans assaulted the island on, on uh, June 15th of 1944, there were over 30,000 American soldiers here with their families and close to uh, approximately, as I have read, about 20,000 Japanese citizens. Now, within a couple of weeks of the initial attack, of uh, June 15, 1944, the Americans had defeated the Japanese army and they had pushed them up to the top one-third of the island where a place by the name of Banzai Cliff is located at. Now, it was not just the Japanese army that was moving up north. They were taking with them thousands of the Japanese citizens and their families along with them. And that caused a huge tragedy. So as the Japanese army, along with the Japanese citizens, were moving up to the top one-third of the island and they were being squished in a small area around Banzai Cliff, there were rumors that were going around the army, the Japanese army and the Japanese citizens that if they get caught by the Americans, they will be tortured, they will be killed, they will be raped, all sorts of horrible rumors. At the same time, there was a letter from Emperor Hirohito telling them they should die for their country. So to the Japanese, the love for their country, honor, and duty was far higher than being arrested by the Americans. So as the Americans were approaching, over 8,000 of them, and you heard correctly, over 8,000 of them jumped over the cliff to their deaths. So let's go for a tour of Banzai Cliff. Let's see what happened. Let's view how high the cliffs were. Let's, view, let's review the circumstances. Now, I'm recording this in my car, and that's because it's extremely windy out there at, at all times. So you will see the conditions under which the Japanese citizens decided to jump in the water to their deaths. Come on, let's go. I am now standing at the main point where most of the people jumped off the cliff. It is right here where thousands of people jumped to their deaths. It is very windy. 
and it is very very stormy look at some of the images here from where I'm standing right now 300 meters below me the huge waves are crashing onto the cliff and you can imagine the tragedy that took place here around July 6th of 1944 watch the following clips Now, the American Memorial Park in Garapan shows a documentary that uh, provides details during the war here in Saipan, June and July of 1944. And it shows some people jumping off the cliff here that have been uh, videotaped. And sadly enough, it shows a woman jumping off the cliff and a baby floating down there where you see now but the main point of this video clip is that the weather during those days was not different than the weather that you see here it is almost always the same at the uh, tip of the island here in Saipan so you would not expect to survive a jump off the cliff here not with these weather conditions. According to the American sources, when the uh, Japanese were jumping off the cliff here, the uh, Japanese citizens and the soldiers, there were American boats and ships parked right here, trying to save a few of them. There are no records indicating how many were saved, if any, because it's very difficult to survive such a jump from such a high point into these deep, ferocious w waters. Now the Americans, knowing that hundreds of people were jumping off the cliff, killing themselves, they had interpreters, they had soldiers that would speak Japanese. And on loudspeakers, far from here, they were trying to encourage the people not to jump, trying to convince them that they were not going to be mistreated. They were not very successful. They didn't save that many. Most of them jumped off the cliff, if not all. Now, history has also recorded that Emperor Hirohito has sent a letter to the Japanese here telling them to die for their country. Now, a lot of historians dispute that, uh, that the letter ever existed or if it was genuine from the Emperor. However, the people here believed that, the soldiers and their families and the rest of the Japanese citizens believed that. And that's why there was a very critical factor that contributed to their deaths here at Banzai Cliff. It is extremely windy up here. The, uh, the force of the wind probably exceeds 60 miles per hour and there are many, many monuments behind me that have been erected over the years from uh, the country of Japan and Japanese institutions and shrines that have come over here. Let's go view some of them. They're really beautiful. Let's go.
here is a uh, Japanese memorial right across the street from the other memorials I just showed you. This is one of the largest. We're going to go in there in, in a second. But what I wanted to show you is in the background, right there in the distance, is a suicide cliff. And that's also another site where people jumped off to their deaths to avoid the Americans. Here's a view of a uh, Japanese group of uh, tourists standing at the edge of the cliff right there and here's another one of the memorials. This is by far the most visited site by Japanese tourists in the Mariana Islands. There are busloads of them every day coming here to pay respects. Who can blame them? Over 8,000 people of their compatriots lost their lives here, jumping off the cliffs for the emperor, their country, for honor and for duty, as one of the uh, signs here says.